Hey Jim Jam, hey Jim and I, how y'all doing? Shakira Ruth. Welcome back to another series. And as you can see, it's on wealth. Okay. What you want, what you wanna do, what you wanna be. Sky's the limit. Are we blocking ourselves? What's going on with us? You know? I got this book that I found. You are a mogul. Mogul. Okay. And also, not only that, I mean, it's got to do with you. We, I'm pretty sure all of us got bloodlines, you know what I'm saying, that uh, could make us these. But what we do, we let stuff limit us. We let stuff hold us back. And not, like I was listening to a motivational uh, discipline. We should be prepared for the things that's going to happen. We should prepare our mind and body, soul, and spirit for things that are going to happen. So when they happen, we'll still be strong. It's going to hurt, yeah, especially if something happened to a family member or something like that. I mean, it's going to hurt us to the core. But to the core means what? You're not going to keep on your path, you know? Or you're going to let it distract you. You know, I made this mostly for women. This one right here. But it's for anybody who want to listen. But it's for empowering women. Women empowering the young women. Okay? Infinity. Forever. We got our kids, girls. We got the boys too as well. And we got the, the grandkids. We got the, the niece and nephews. We got the neighbor kids. We got the cousins. You know, it's women's time. Not in a cocky way. We can stand and build together. Not trying to take over nobody's role because everybody have a different role to play. But who wants to be struggling all the time and begging somebody? We want to be this. Okay? Let's read what that means. Okay? get my glasses. Sorry about that, Jim Jim. Okay, wealth. What does wealth mean? You know? Let's see. Wealth is... Let's go from the one I found. It's a major supporter for optimism health because it gives you the financial freedom to make healthy choices and avail of any existing health and fitness resources. As a result, those who experience lack of wealth have limited access to most average and higher level resources that support a healthy lifestyle. So all we've been taught about wealth need to go out the window. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't positive. I mean, not everybody's in that situation. Maybe 90% of us, but not everybody's in that situation. <laughs> Welfare, poverty, good well-being, Happiness, joy, riches, valuable material possessions, a great amount and abundance are plenty. Okay? Measures the value of all the assets of work owned by a person, community, company, or country. Essential. Wealth is the accumulation of scarce resources. Specific people, organizations, and nations are said to be wealthy when they are able to accumulate many valuable resources or goods, okay? So now I think it's out of the box thinking, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's time for out of the box. Forget the old ways and what they said we supposed to make Well, Look at all these people, okay? Why we can't do that? They been here, okay? They, they tact is not working anymore, okay? Now here's a... a let me read this right here. What mogul means. Okay, first let me do this, okay? <clears throat> you are just, you are not just a woman. You inspire. You empower. empower. You are driven. You are motivated. You are brilliant. You are unique. You are bold. You are fearless. You are a mogul. Okay? See? So, yeah. 
Let's see what mogul means. Tycoon or mogul, a member of the Muslim dynasty of Mogul Oregon, origin found by the successor of the Timberland, which ruled much of India from 16th to 19th century. Okay. The Mughal Empire of Dilha. Okay, let's see. The founder of two more dynasty was a conqueror of Western, South, and Central Asia in the 14th century. He was also the Tamerlane and Timur Lane or Timur Lane. He left India in 1399 after the massive conquest, and just as he was preparing a huge army to invade China, he died in 1405. Okay. So that's what they're talking about. Having your dynasty. What's stopping us? I like that. Somebody posted that today. Okay, what's stopping us? Okay, a little more. Mongol, an empire or powerful person, a specialty in the motion picture or media in industry. The Hollywood movie mogul, Sam Goldwyn. Video. Okay, I said I was going to call up his video. Okay, let's see. Sam Goldwyn. According to Wikipedia, Samuel Goldwyn, also known as Samuel Goldfish, was a Polish-American film producer. He was best known for being the founding con contributor and executive of several motion picture studios in Hollywood. Okay? So, why we can't do our own? We know, we're learning how to protect ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Powerful or rich individual. Bill Gates and them likes to be in charge, powerful business person, leader, ruler, German root word, the tycoon, wealthy and powerful business person. What's our problem? We've been letting all this negativity come towards us, you know, and trying to stop our destiny because we get scared. They threaten us. They threaten our family. In some type of way, our resources, our job, we took on all this. So all this out the window now. There's no reason we can't go for this now. We thinking out the box. If you're not, you should be. You know what I'm saying? What I did was I put on these cards. See, I'm not playing them. <laughs> on these cards, questions uh, that the book has. And we're going to, um, well, I put on each card a page number. We're going to read it, okay? Get a little insight of what she's talking about. Okay. Tiffany Fan. Let's see what Miss Tiffany talking about. Okay. First one, page 163. You might need a camcorder. Maybe you want to make movies. What's your divine desire to get you to the next stage? That's all you need in a plan. You know? Page 163. Let's see what she's talking about. Find the right person. Sometimes the growth of our company stems from coming in contact with the right person at just the right time. This happened to me, and it led to a creation of Mogul's second division. Mogul re redefined as well as the final member of our founding team. My former colleague, Scott, the one who had been the first to text me about Forbes 30 under 30 had recently reached out, wondering if I could meet his younger sister, Natasha. He thought it would be a mutual benefit meeting, but he additionally hoped I would become a mentor to her. As we met for tea, I found Natasha to be razor sharp and worldly, given her French and German background, yet also kind and soft-spoken. Having graduated magna cum laude from Georgetown, she was currently working at an education foundation developing case study materials for Columbia Business School and Parsons School of Design. So what that means, you can't find nobody that will give you help sitting in the house or staying with the same type of people that's on a dream that never make effort. You know, we can't find it like that. We got to move around. We got to go where people who moving around, who doing stuff. And never know, you might be sitting somewhere 
and go to a nice place or somewhere and and uh, talk to somebody and tell them your plan. They say, oh, I got somebody that uh, you know can help, just like she just said. But if we sitting around in the same circle, in the same neighborhood, in the same everything, and not getting out of our comfort zone, what happens? We stay stuck. Now we got page five. Let's see. Oh, is this Titleist. Pro V golf balls. Want to play golf <laughs> with the big one? Want to own some golf? Want to make some golf? Want to make the golf balls? Want to make the golf or uh, a uh, stick? You want to get some land and make a golf court? You know what I'm saying? Let's see page five. Plenty ways to get involved. Don't be satisfied with the status quo. By the time I reached high school, I had finally learned English well enough, she was from France, that my accent was receding. My grades at the time were good, but they weren't stellar. stellar. I was too busy with the social scene and making it through each day to, to get dedicate myself to studying. So she was getting involved with everybody. I would never earn a score of 100% on anything. I would often get an A minus and at a very competitive public school. This was far from the top of the class. My freshman year, I had a math teacher who would have his students grade each other's work so that at night he wouldn't have to grade all 30 pages. In that class, I sat behind a girl named Diane. She was kind and soft-spoken. When we would trade papers and I would grade her papers, she always got a 100% every time. She would then pass my paper back to me and I would have a score of 92 to 93. As the days went by and this kept happening, something took root in me. Why was I settling? Clearly, 100% was possible. If I was going to put in the time to complete the work, why not put in that little bit of extra effort if it meant a perfect score, why was I selling myself short? Hello. We all got to ask them questions, don't you think, Jim Jam? Okay. I mean, deep. Really deep. I can think back and school myself, you know. I know I could have did better, but I let all that coming at me, calling me my sister name, you know, disappointing. You know, wanting me to be somebody else. I could never be myself. The teacher is... You know, I could have ignored all of that and soared for what I wanted to do. Let's do a little tarot and see what I want to say. <clears throat> see what comes out, Jimmy Jam. We limit ourselves being stuck on that. And what them people have to do with my future? I should have realized that. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't care. I shouldn't have cared what they were talking about. You know what I'm saying? As long as my grades and, and where I was trying to go, you know, if I had a plan, knew to have a plan. You know, I wish I knew to have a plan. You know, another seven of swords, plans, hopes, wish card, highest minor or arcana. So we got all the plans and wishes. Okay, what are we gonna do with them? We got them. We already know. We got so many ideas, so many talents. We we know how to do. You know, it's just pathetic. But we just gonna let them sit there and talk to the wrong people and have them discourage us, and they would discourage ourselves. Are we going to keep doing that? You know, smoking, drinking, going up and partying. You know what I'm saying? Going out all the time. You know, third deacon Aquarius moon. We're in Aquarius age now. What, what we going to do? This is a whole new world out here. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're trying to do what they're trying to do. Because they can't hold us no more. We ain't under their spells no more. You know? So, chakra wisdom card. Read one of them. Yeah. We're not... Every, the sky's the limit. We limit ourselves. Fear. A word about what somebody gonna say. You know, worried about all the things that happen in our childhood that hold us down. Man, we gotta get over that stuff. What What do you want? It's up to you. You make your own world by your thoughts, by your discipline. You know, what do you want to do? What type of life you want? You know, we gotta ask ourselves those questions. What do we want? Second chakra, sacred chakra, well-being. I honor and respect my body by giving it what it deserves to thrive. I provide myself with the best of food, exercise, water, relaxation, 
their therapeutic treatments and thoughts. I only consumed foods and liquids that were designed by nature to be in my body. I stimulate my body's energy flow with exercise. I make time to rest as stillness and tranquility are vital to keep my mind and body rejuvenated. That's all they talk about on the motivational. You got to take care of your body if you want to go to the next step. I'm talking to myself as well, y'all. I'm learning too. I'm learning with y'all. You know, I, I'm on my quest, so maybe I'm, think, I'm thinking that others may want to learn too. One or two, however many people click on here. You know, that's my thing. Let's learn together. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. All right, Jimmy Jam, that's what I have for you. I hope it helps in some type of way. You know, just trying to motivate myself and try to help motivate others, okay? All right, this is your girl Ruth signing off. And until next time, would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. Love y'all. All right, bye.